Good morning England fans, it's finally here, Tuesday the 14th of June, England versus Hungary at the Molyneux ground, I cannot wait, the weather is looking unbelievable, it's going to be a great game, England really, the campaign hasn't got started, we've had two draws, well two good draws to be honest, Italy at home and Germany away, but we had that surprise defeat didn't we against Hungary in the first game so we've got revenge on our mind. I've never been to Wolverhampton even though I only live an hour's drive away so I'm going to enjoy looking around there and, and looking at the Molyneux Stadium as well. I'm going to have a quick look around there before the game starts. I'm going to get there nice and early. Finally fans are allowed back in the ground after we weren't for the Italy game. I know they had the school children but it's going to be a buzzing atmosphere completely sold out at Molyneux. So I'm going to be meeting some some faces down there, having a chat with a few fans before the game, try and catch some hungry. So I know there's an England, they've changed the mega store to an England store, so I know I'm early, I think it's only about two o'clock, but I'm gonna go in inside and have a look. I can just see, I hope it's open. Uh, but yeah, let's go and have a look. I might get myself an England top actually, because I've not come in my England top today, as you'd have seen at the start. So maybe I'll pick one up. Or the media coverage already here setting up for tonight so I've just come out of the store it's actually quite good really there's some nice stuff they had the new women England's um, shirt the orange one and the, and the white one and they were really nice they are really nice kits I know people think it's a bit Dutch like with the orange kit, but it does look it does look really nice, really nice. I didn't pick up a shirt. I wanted the white one uh, with the but I put a Nike version on it. But um but no, I got myself a pin badge. That's it. I like a I like a pin badge. So yeah, I've got that. Now obviously not a lot going off around here at the minute. Someone's just asked me if I'm the flag bearer. I'm just now off into the city or the town. I don't know, is Wolverhampton a city or a town? I've no idea. But I'm off into the town centre or city centre. I don't know which way to go though. So yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll have to ask somebody. So I'm just round um, the side of the stadium. And as you can see, this is the uh, executive boxers entrance. But this, yeah, there's nothing going off at the minute. Like I said, I'm, I'm a few hours away from kickoff. Uh, quite a few hours actually, six, seven hours. The University of Wolverhampton Business School just there, so it's like a, it is city centre base, but it's got a lot of space around it, and it's a, it's a nice looking ground, it's a big stadium. Stumbled upon this as the Molyneux Subway, city of Wolverhampton welcomes you, so it's the main access point from the town centre to the, to the ground, and inside look they've got a memorial wall, I just think it's a really nice cool torch, and I can imagine on a match day for Wolves, I bet it's buzzing, so yeah, really really like that. So uh, yeah, I'm with uh, Ryan, uh, a USA fan, so he's here for the England game this afternoon. So just, I know you got your YouTube channel, Ryan, so just want to introduce that. Yeah, uh, it's One Ryan Fortune. Uh, we do a lot of vlogs for the US national team, home and away, covering uh, the England match here today. You know, we're excited. England, USA, second match of the group, we're buzzing for it. Brilliant. So you're here today, obviously. So let's take your take on today. What do you think the result's going to be today? I think England will win handedly. I could see 3 4 nil. I mean, they've been very, very shaky recently. Bad result away in Hungary. I think they're going to want to, you know, redeem themselves potentially, get a bit of form back. Hopefully, Kane from the start. And yeah, 3 4 nil. And we've got to talk about it, haven't we? We've got to talk about the World Cup group. <laughs> We've got to talk about the World Cup group. So obviously the US and England have drawn each other. What, what are your thoughts on that? Um, yeah, for me, uh, so I've got English dad for me. So I was actually a bit gutted to draw England because you know I want to see them both do well. Um, I think we play it both a very similar style, the USA and England. Probably England plays that style. Uh, a little bit better than we do so you know in reality I would have loved to have probably drawn someone more like Portugal or Spain for that one seed but yeah you know it'll be an exciting game uh, it's a huge match in the USA 
Uh, it's the second match for our group. It's it's after our Thanksgiving, so it's probably going to be the most watched game in our history. 30, 40 million people are going to be watching it. It's absolutely massive. Can't wait for it. So, yeah, hopefully it's a good game. Hopefully we, we put on a show. Come on, give us a result. What do you think? Um, I'll, I'll be kind. You know, I'll back up my boys here. I'm going to say... 1-1 one, one draw. Uh, well, well, I'm going to say 1-1 one, one draw. Yeah, I'm going to say 1-1 one, one draw. That's what I'll say. Okay. Yep. And, and do you think US will get out of the group? Absolutely. I think we'll I think we'll beat Wales. I think they're yep, yeah, they've got Gareth Bale, but I don't think they've got a whole lot much else. I like our attackers, even though big up Ben Davis, big up Joe Roden, Tottenham fan, big them up, but I still think we'll get past their defenders no worries because I love our attack. And yeah, Iran, I think it'll be a tight one. They're going to have a lot of fans there, but I do think we'll beat them in the end. So yeah, USA to come second, and who knows what happens after that. Maybe we go beat Senegal. Maybe we go beat Netherlands. You never know. Brilliant. Well, enjoy the game today, mate, and thanks for eating. Cheers. Cheers. What's your name? Maya. M Maya. So obviously you're sporting Hungary, aren't you? Today? Yeah. So obviously Hungary won the last game, didn't they? Yes! yes. I know, I know, <laughs> can't believe it. What do yeah. you think the score is going to be today? I don't know, I think I'm going to go with 2-1 to Hungary. 2-1 Hungary, oh very confident, very confident. You know what, the way England are playing, I, I, I wouldn't put it past them, honestly. In Hungary, they've picked up some good results as well, haven't they? Did, yeah. Where else did Hungary get a result against? Did um, we did Germany on Saturday. That was it, what was the score in that? 1-1. Uh, 1-1. One, one. One, one. And we also played Italy, which was 2-1. Brilliant. So who's, who's the best player for Hungary? Uh, I'd probably go with Soboslai, but my favourite one is Clay and Heschler. Players I've not really heard of much. Yeah. Who, who do you fear for England? Who do you think England's best players are? Kane. Kane? Um, I don't know much England players, no. but my sister says my hair looks no, like... Um, what, what, what did you say my hair looks like? I forgot his name. Uh, what's his name? <laughs> is it Grealish? Yeah, yeah that one. Because of the headband. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like that. Well, thank you very much and You're enjoy welcome. the game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm currently in the ground, you can hear the Hungarian team being announced. England have gone for another experimental side really, don't know how well you can hear this but Bowen's starting, we could see if he can get a goal, Bellingham as well, four at the back, which is brilliant but hopefully, you know, we need three points today, we need them to have any chance of getting out of this group if we're going to win it. Come on England, let's have you. I've got to say Wolves. Lovely ground, fair play, fair play. I love this new, this is the new safe standing area. So obviously there's seats where you can sit down, but they have these bars uh, in front of you. So you can grab, I don't know what it's for, <laughs> grab onto them, I suppose. But yes, safe standings area, which is brilliant. Has a nice feel to it. What a day, but what a ground, lovely ground. Well played Wolves, well played.
time. In 1-0 hungry, dreadful, dreadful performance. I'm just not turning up at oh, all, don't want to be here. No energy, no nothing. No one in midfield wanting the ball. Dreadful, dreadful half, but hopefully we can pull it off in the second half, but I don't, can't count on it. It's woeful. 3-0 down. 3-0 down against Hungary at home. Turning point for Southgate for me. A lot, lot of anger in the stands. I love a lot of anger in the stands. England players just come over, got booed, some cheered, ordered, but really booed, really awkward. It's dreadful. Dreadful. Well, 4 0, hungry, deserved. It's worst England performance since Iceland. Right, well, just come out of the ground. 4 0. 4 0, hungry. Absolute shambles. Um, the atmosphere turned a bit sour, as you can imagine, towards the end. I'm not going to lie, a lot, a lot were shouting Southgate out. I'm not there yet. I think, you know, we've only got two games to go to the World Cup, but I'm here with Russell from the Three Lions podcast and just, just want to get your thoughts, Russell, really. Thoughts? Well, I mean, instant thoughts were, it was atrocious. I mean, that was, I've been following England for too long. Um, and, and that really was, I mean, I've just said on, on the pod, that's up there with Iceland. That was one of the worst performances I've seen. There was a, 11 England players wearing the shirt who frankly felt like they didn't give it. They, they didn't want it, they didn't want to, no. they didn't want to show for the team. The, the creativity, there was no creativity, there was no enthusiasm. I think we had two two efforts on it's, goal. It's just been, I mean, the shots on goal alone, but then it's, it's been over the four games and we were just actually talking, weren't we? It's actually, when you think about it, it goes back a little bit further. You look at the Switzerland game that we had where we didn't play very well. Last couple of games against Poland and Hungary in the World Cup qualifier. And there's, there's, been, a, there's been a lot of performances, haven't there, against average teams that just haven't been good enough. And it is, it is just the general performances. You know, no, I can barely think of a shot on target over the past four games. Yeah, I mean, I would say just their Foden our day, an effort that went wide, Kane hit the bar. Prior to that, obviously, there was um, Mason Mount hit the bar against Italy here. Um, I mean, obviously, Kane has been the, the one who scored the only goal in these four games, and that was from the spot. We haven't, we haven't created anything in open play in four games. Uh, it's, it's not good enough, but where we go from here, well, it's, it's clearly obvious we need to win the next two games away in Italy at home to Germany to even stand a chance of remaining in this top level of this Nations League group but then also looking forwards to the main event which is the World Cup these two next games are so important on so many levels well, they're, they're the last two left aren't they for everything and and, and it's hard to see actually from here how Southgate's going to turn it around to be honest but I mean that's it really. What I mean we could go on all night, but we'll, we'll leave it there. It's just, just a shocking, shocking performance. Um, and yeah, I don't know where we go from here, but that's it, guys. Here with a, a few Hungarian fans uh, after the match. Just want to ask him a couple of questions, really, lads. Four nil. I mean, what can we say? What a result for you guys. What, what, Historical. What? It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. It's yeah. fantastic. Yeah, who do you think you, your best player was on the night? I mean, everyone, all your guys. everyone as a team. Yeah, everyone. Yes. Yeah. And what's um, when you get what do you think everyone back home will be feeling tonight? Like buzzing, like really up for it. People back home happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely, definitely. 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 Yeah. And can hang, can Hungary win the group? Maybe. Yeah. Yes. After this game, we can say that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, we think positive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. well, I, I think why not, lads? Why not? But congratulations. Thank and, you very uh, much. Thank have you. a nice, have a nice journey home, very, guys. Very kind of you. Thank Cheers. You Thank you very much. Yeah. So congratulations. Thank um, you. Four Thank nil. you so much, mate. What? Four nil. Yeah. Fucking so, England. You so dreadful. Much. You guys. Brilliant.
Brilliant. So congratulations. What? what yeah, what's your feeling? Anyway, um, that's what's feeling. Really annoyed. Just England. England just don't want to be here. But um, just, but just, uh, just congratulations. What do you guys feel? What do you guys feel? You know what? To be honest, that yeah, was yeah, yeah, yeah. not yeah. really happening. That was the six three before. Yeah. What was happening? But four now. Do you think you could win a group? Say, we haven't got any birds to feed him. Or, no, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, you guys were brilliant. Do you think you guys can win the group? So Thank you so much. You know what? On them. Hungarian on them. was the best. Do you, th do, you think you can, do you think you can win the group? Go on to win the Nations League? Do you think you can win it? You know. Uh, why not? We want it! Why we not? want it! Why not? Why not? We are Hungarian! We are Hungarian! We want it! Well, thank you very much, guys. Cheers. Adam, another Hungarian fan. So, Adam. 4-0. I mean, yeah, man. Jesus Christ. I mean, that is terrible for England. What What does it say for Hungary? I'm quite pleased. Uh, I'm quite pleased for boys. Boys, they, they are played really excellent. Everything was perfect for them. So, like, uh, everything was, was spot on. They, were, they, they didn't do any pro uh, issues or problems or mistakes. They had some mistakes in the first half, but, uh, well, England was struggle, to be honest. And then, uh, uh, like, after that, uh, they they said more and then they, they, they are like uh, quite crowded. clueless. Uh, I think we were quite lucky as well. So like we, we had all the reasons. What oh maybe it's it's uh, the, the England the defense was quite rubbish. No. Uh, all I can say, but uh, uh, it's uh, a place for 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 Hungary. Uh, I'm sorry for England. They, they 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 will get better for they they get up they get they get carry on. Obviously it's just a game. It's it, it's not a big issue. So uh, all the best for them. Do you, all think, the best for do you think Hungary can win the group now? Yeah, well, we are on the, the first, first at the moment. Uh, so we are quite lucky with the, with the, with the points. Uh, we, we have Germany away, and and um, I think Italy at home. Italy, Italy home, yes. Yeah. So, so we need it's a couple of draws, yeah. enough. Well, well, yeah. well, we're done. Congratulations, mate, and safe journey home. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, thanks, thanks a mate. Thanks a Take care. That's, he had that learning incredible. 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 Hey. Yeah. Because when we come. We think three or four near for the England team because yeah. the England team much better. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, not our tonight. Team. Not tonight. Not tonight. Not tonight. tonight. You guys, brilliant. Yes, brilliant. yes, yeah, yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Because yeah. Our, our team is a working team. Yeah. Not superstars. Not yeah. flick flack. Not nothing. Yeah. But the uh, coach yeah. can make uh, make a good team. Yeah. For who know one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now you've done well and congratulations, guys. So um, yeah. I'm back at the car. Um, sorry, there wasn't much footage of the match. I don't like. I want to go to matches and enjoy it. I don't want to start a YouTube channel, so I can't watch the game. So I didn't. I didn't record any of Hungary's four goals. Um, but worst performance since Iceland, probably worse. Maybe um, I can't remember um, the last time England lost four nil. Um, Spoke to those Hungary fans just a minute ago. Really nice, really nice lads. They just said, look, we know England are better, but they just don't seem bothered. They just seem tired. They don't want to be there. And I says, you're absolutely right. I says, but it's no excuse. So the Hungarians, fair play to them. You know, we're humble in victory. Um, I think because I was humble in defeat with them. Uh, but met some really nice, really nice fans. So fair play to them. But England tonight, just dreadful. You might hear on some of the videos that I've put on. It depends what I've managed to clip together from... From that fiasco, but there was a lot of a lot of Southgate out. It's a big turning point for Southgate. As I've said, I'm I'm Southgate in, but it is a turning point now. You can't replace him. There's there's two games. That's it. And then the World Cup's here. But it's it's the turnaround now is huge. And it's not the personnel, because he's picked a big squad this time and they've all had game time and they've not done it. So they're not playing for him. And the systems is picking aren't working. It's just not good enough. It's just not good enough. Sorry, I've had to start the car because my light went off, so I don't want my battery to die. But yeah, fair, well played, Hungary. Um, England are going to have to really win the final two games to stay in the group. Um, I don't think we will. Um, you, you know, England in the World Cup now is looking. It's looking. It's looking difficult and looking complicated when it shouldn't be. But it's been coming. I've said, I think I said this earlier. For having, I'm saying it again. The Switzerland game, the last two games against Poland and Hungary in the World Cup qualifier. This has been coming. These four games now. It, it's not poor performances have been quite common now for England. 
Um, yeah, I'm not counting the Albanian San Marino games. You know, come on. I'm talking about any team that gives us any sort of competitiveness and, and we just can't seem to cope. Players just look shattered, knackered, not bothered. And it's not an excuse because all the other nations are in exactly the same position. Um, you know, tennis players play four-hour matches and go back out the next day and do exactly the same and they're running on their own. So I just I don't buy tiredness. I'm sorry, I just don't buy it. Tiredness does, doesn't explain losing 4-0 to Hungary at home. So, yeah, horrendous day, horrendous night for England and England fans. Um, but well played to Hungary. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and uh, hopefully I'll see you on the next one.